All right, we're here at the Joe Brand uh, store here in McAllen, Texas for the Anthony Cavazos in association with Mario Davila, the sponsor of the event, for our uh, aid. The big fight card they're having September 5th at the Bogus Ford Event Center right here. I'm here with one of my favorite fighters I, I really like. I got him, Jose Prado. If you've seen him on my show, J Round by Round with James Gogi, uh, he's one of the, you know, I, I don't like to give a lot of praise to fighters, but he's one of the few guys I like to do it. Now, the reason why I like this fight, two years ago, he's, this is another rematch, another rivalry fight. He's fighting Eric Luera. Two years ago, they fought at the Harley event, Harley Davidson events uh, in the parking lot. There was over 3,000 people there. It was a great fight. He was winning in the fight. Then out of nowhere, Luetta landed a punch and it stunned him and, and stopped him in the last round, going to the last round. He wants revenge, Luetta. okay? So <laughs> he wants revenge in this fight. It was a great fight, but hey, he didn't let this fight discourage him like a lot of fighters. They lose and, you know, uh, you know what I mean? Excuses, complaints, and all that. He, he ain't here to make no complaints. JP Prado, okay? You grow from that fight. Yes, I, I've, grown, I've grown a lot. That's, that's what uh, I want to come in here and, you know, demonstrate to a lot of these fans that, uh, that uh, I was a little green coming in in the beginning. And uh, now uh, I want to show how much I've grown through, yeah. throughout this, uh, these years that have yeah. passed. And, uh, yeah. So uh, we're, we're going to give a war and we're going to give a good fight that night. It was a great, great man. It was a great fight they had at the Harley Davidson uh, where they had that uh, fight in the parking lot. They blocked it off with trucks and everything. And there was like over 3,000 people there. Yeah. Oh, man, it was a great, great fight. I thought he was winning the fight. I thought he had the edge. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Luetta just landed that, was it a left hook or right hand? I think it was a right hand. Right hand. It was a right hand. Were you hurt by that right hand? Uh, yeah, I was stunned. I was stunned by that right hand, and uh, and uh, you know I'm not trying to give any excuses, but uh, uh, you know the training camp wasn't going so well. You know, hard uh, time making weight. It was it was, a, it was a hard time. You know, I came back to the gym with only a week left, and uh, I took the fight. You know, and and, and uh, I wasn't I wasn't 100. percent You know, uh, I I was a little dehydrated. I was, uh, so your legs I, weren't there. Yeah, my legs weren't definitely they weren't there. So I wasn't I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling it since the beginning. But uh, you know I, I still stayed in there and it gave my best. Now this fight, he's grown. I seen him grow from that fight. He didn't let that loss discourage. He's been you know wanting to fight on a lot of these shows. But a lot of you guys, no no fighters mentioned. They don't want to fight him. But yeah, I seen him grow as a fighter. One one thing. I've seen him do, like the last fight I saw him with the, at the Bogus Ford Event Center, he's starting to box more, he's starting to use his jab, he's starting to fight like Sugar Ray Leonard. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, like, like we were talking, um, you know, that uh, I go over a lot of things, you know, in the gym, and I, I look up a lot of, uh, a lot of these, uh, these classic fighters and, uh, that I look up to, and, and you know, like I say, I'm always learning, I'm always uh, willing to learn how to how to be a good boxer instead of uh you know going there and brawl and just you know expose the chin and you know yeah. and, and, and uh, that's what you, that's going to be the difference in this fight last fight was just a basic brawler you were still bringing your skills since then you've grown as a fighter and you're boxing more using your jab and picking your shots and working on your defense more intelligently that's correct yes and, and i've seen that we train and uh, we train uh, really hard there in the gym we train actually there at the panterita gym panterita boxing gym. we have a lot of good a lot of good fighters there you know uh uh brandon uh you know uh, omar uh, omar uh, pretty boy uh gabriel Ayala. Yeah. he helps me a lot with uh with the sparring i mean he's, he's a really good kid he's a really he has a really good amateur background and uh he's gonna be uh fighting on this card as well so i, I get a lot of good help there and and well, we're looking forward to this and, and making this, uh, you know, making this another... It's going to be a good w, fight. Another win. Exactly. It's going to be a great... Not, not a good fight. It's going to be a great fight. It's a six-round co-main event. It ain't going to be four rounds, so you got two more rounds to work with. Yes. Uh, yes, sir. It's, it's going to be six rounds, so we're, you know, we're definitely kicking it up, bumping it up a notch in the gym, uh, getting those extra rounds in, maybe a, a 10, 10 to 8 round sparring, you know, every, every other Who's day, every day. With? Um, you know, we, we like I said, um, you know, Pretty Boy, uh, Omar Figueroa, we, we got a lot of people uh, training in the gym, you know, Omar is just starting, so there's going to be, I'm looking forward to, to the sparring with him. Um, um, there, there's a lot, a lot of other, other fighters that come come down and, um, give you, you know, good work. yeah, they give us good work, so um, it, it's always good training there. Now, I was going to ask you, 
man, this is going to be a good fight because this guy has grown so much from, the, from that fight I've seen with Luetta. Luetta, I haven't seen him being more active. Do you think that's a disadvantage for him when he's going to fight you the next fight? You've been more active. Well, I, I've been more active, yes, and, and um, I know he hasn't been uh, fighting from there. So um, ever since uh, ever since that, I don't think he's been active. But um, you know, I'm still gonna take him take him as a, as a dangerous fighter. You know, he, he always uh, he always right. throws throws those uh, overhands yeah, and, and, and and those. And you uh, don't yeah. see him. You don't see those Awkward, punches. like like Marcos Maidana. Yes, sir. That, those are the the fighters that you got to worry about right there. Okay. Because uh, they go over over and then they throw that overhand a lot, and uh, that's what I got to work on. And, and, you know, we're definitely working on a lot of the, our defense and stuff like that. In the gym. Oh, you'll be ready. Uh, one thing about Luetta, I haven't seen him being active, and that, to me, that's a disadvantage in going into a fight like this, okay? This guy's always in the gym, he's been more active, and they, you know, he might have the edge. Plus, I've seen him grow not only, uh, you know, because he used to, when I first saw that fight, they were both going at it. Now this guy added boxing, footwork, working off his jab, picking the shots better, being more intelligent, okay? Six-round fight, that's going to help him and everything. Would you agree? Yes, I agree with that, and uh, definitely, uh, that, that, that would uh, definitely give me the edge, you know, and... Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm working on my footwork and everything, and and, and um, you know, it's it's gonna be a great it's gonna be oh, a great night. It's gonna be great a great night. fight, and expect expect a lot from me, and and you're gonna see a, another another person, another another fighter on there. Yep. You know? Yep. And now, Juan Tapia, Carlos Trevino, the main event. Jose Prado, West Coast, Texas, and Eric Luetta, the co-main event. Oh, man, look, this is. I know a good fight when I see it. All right, I've been in, I've been in this business long enough. Okay, all right, ain't ain't these golden boy fighters that you know they bring nothing to the table that uh, you know what I mean that make you fall asleep. The, the old golden boy fighters, the ones that Al, ha Al Heyman had. Okay, not the new golden boy fighters, but this kid. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a great fight with all the other fights here. Oh, yeah, but Jose, uh, what what is the weight for this fight? Uh, we had talked about 144, uh, max 144. The, that we wanted to go a little lower to one maybe 140 but i guess uh yeah yeah, yeah. i guess they couldn't make it make it or something so but, 144 44 and the last time you fought it was 35 uh, no my last one was at 140 no with, when you fought oh you yeah were, 135 yeah, so you That's can right. see the weight was it was hard for you to make that yeah, weight huh? it was a little hard yeah i could you know? your legs were kind of gone mm, i was weak but hey this reason i like this guy he's a real fighter okay meaning he gets up in the morning run does his five miles road work then he goes showers Takes his kids to school and he goes right to work. And what do you tell him what you do? Uh, I, I do a lot, a lot of, a lot of jobs. You know, I do a lot of different jobs. I, wash I mean, cars. I, or... I, I do everything. I, I, I do I, from washing cars, painting houses. You know, I, I do a lot of things, man. I, I was raised to be a hard worker, so he ain't I mean, scared of hard work. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> and that's why he's a real fighter. Okay, ain't too many fighters do what he does. You know, takes care of his three kids. I mean, wakes up in the morning, puts his five miles, uh, takes him to school. Does all these not behind the desk white collar jobs, blue collar jobs? Then he has enough energy to put in a three hour workout, okay? That to me, that's a special person, okay? Not too many people can do it. And the guy has a lot of hunger, willing to fight anybody, anytime, anywhere. And, you know, thank God for Anthony Cavazos for giving him these opportunities to fight on these cards like that. Uh, the guy wants to be somebody, okay? Never had an amateur background, too, okay? All right? And he's going through this the hard way. But, you know, just to me, that's a special person. That's why, uh, you know, he's one of my favorite guys I like to interview, you know what I mean? He knows what, he ain't scared of hard work, okay? And that's the essence of being a champion. You gotta, you know, you gotta, can't be scared of hard work. But uh, any last words? Oh, well, I just wanna thank you, James, uh, oh. for giving me these these great interviews. And uh, thank you. Uh, you're a great guy, man. And uh, and I wanna thank Anthony Cavazos for giving me the opportunity uh, to fight on this card, you know, co-main event. Uh, hopefully, uh, after this, you know, I, not, I show I could I could be the main event. You know yep. what I mean. So uh, uh, you're five and one. Five and one. Two knockouts. Two knockouts. And every fight has been tough. No babying. No no three and eighteen, three and twelve guys. Everybody's been pretty damn tough. I seen this guy fight. So <laughs> and he's got enough another tough one. Okay. So that's why I like him. Uh, come out support him. He's gonna have a lot of fans coming in from Westaco. Yeah, a lot, a lot of fans from Westaco. A lot of friends, family, and. Uh, you know it's gonna be a great night, yeah. and, and uh, yeah. I wanted I want to thank everybody for supporting me, and, and you know go out there and, and watch this fight, man. It's gonna be great. What high school did you go to? Uh, West Oakland High. What year you graduate? Uh, I say 09, 07. Oh, 09. Okay. 07. Oh, oh, 07. 07. Okay. With 
with Omar Figueroa. Yeah, oh yeah, we went to the same school. Yeah, we were around the same age. So, but anyway, uh, just come check them out. Hey, you're gonna see a good fight, him and Luetta. That's that's a fight worth watching. Uh, any last words? Just come enjoy the moment. Yeah. <laughs> enjoy the fight. Yeah, just, come out, uh, enjoy the just fight. Come out, come out, and uh, it's gonna be a great night of boxing. Uh, you know, Anthony Cavazos. You know, everybody. We're all gonna be there, and uh, hope to see you guys there. Thank you for all the support. Come on out. It's gonna be a barn burner. It's gonna be a smoker. Thank you. All right, Jose. Good.